Mentioning CBD in a social context often receives the odd eye roll or questioning stare when you explain to them where it comes from. CBD a few years ago was on a marketing rampage, giving many people the impression it's a snake oil. Whilst the benefits of CBD are definitely overhyped to some degree, it's definitely not a snake oil. It doesn't stop CBD from being a real active compound with very real potential beneficial effects and some actual evidence that is behind those effects. Welcome to my Ortiverse. I'm Thomas Henley and today we're going to be speaking on the usage of marijuana's CBD by autistic individuals, focusing primarily on lived experience. Unlike our previous video on the positives or potential positives of CBD, today we are going to focus on a few of the negatives. I have used CBD in various forms from flour to oils to capsules to vapes, so I've got a lot of personal experience with its effects. However, I am not a doctor, nor a psychologist or a medical professional, so please consult them, actual people who have that, on the content of this video, and do not make any choices which could land you in trouble with the law. Although CBD seems like a health supplement, unlike many other health supplements, you would assume that perhaps the effects are just kind of minor, not really consequential. The compounds within the marijuana plant have a lot of active widespread effects on various nerves within your body connected to this endocannabinoid system. They have potential issues with misuse, real side effects, and a various amount of drug interactions with medicinal compounds, recreational substances, and also mental health disorders. So it's very worth being aware of those. I think its existence as a supplement can give people the impression that its effects aren't too notable. However, too high of a CBD dose can lead to a number of different side effects. We're going to touch on some of those said side effects today, those potential negatives, but generally try to focus on the things that autistic people may need to be a little bit more aware of. Appetite reduction, yes, although it can seem like a very enticing thing for a lot of people, especially if you're on your fitness journey. The thing is, autistic people can often struggle with interoception and a range of different EDs. Interoception being the ability to recognise the bodily signals of hunger or thirst. And CBD has been shown to reduce one's appetite ever so slightly, which may be an issue for those who already find themselves forgetting to eat throughout the day. However, there is a caveat, of course, that sometimes anxiety can actually impact one's appetite too. So some people may experience more hunger due to the anxiety reducing effect of CBD, but it's really dependent on the person, like with many things on this list. Number two. Irritability. Now, some autistic people can have a hard time with anger. For myself, when I get stressed out and overstimulated, I do tend to hinge more on the anxiety side rather than getting angry. It's always been this way for me ever since I was a young boy. When my stress levels increased, I shut down, I stopped talking, and if I end up having a meltdown, it looks more like an extreme panic attack rather than an aggressive outburst. But CBD has been shown to increase irritability for some people. This, in reality, would be more akin to perhaps being a bit snappy with communication. But I think it's worthwhile keeping that in the back of your mind, especially if you have a tendency towards bouts of anger. This may be something which doesn't help that. Fatigue and drowsiness. Indeed. While CBD can be useful for some, reducing anxiety and releasing their energy. For other people, it can relax and fatigue them so much that it hinders their day and their energy levels. Autistic people can often have a hard time with our sleep and often need a lot more sleep than average, which can clash with the typical nine to five schedule, particularly in the mornings, getting up in the morning. Taking CBD for anxiety could therefore be additive to a poor sleeping habit and make one more sluggish and unmotivated, especially if they take it in the morning or the afternoon. Weirdly, I found that sometimes that horrible anxiety I feel can be useful in some doses. 
and removing all of it, just drenching myself in CBD, tends to crush my motivation and energy to get up and do the things that I should be anxious about just a little bit. It's a fine balance for me trying to figure out how to mitigate the useless sort of crippling generalized anxiety, whilst also leaving me with enough cortisol and adrenaline to push me through my daily tasks. So this might be something to be aware of and consider. Everyone's brain is very different, and one positive for one person could be a potential negative for another. Gastrointestinal distress, indeed. GI issues are fairly co-occurring for people who are autistic, irritable bowels, irregularity, acid reflux, stomach aches. CBD has strangely the potential for alleviating gut-related symptoms associated with inflammation and pain, but also some potential issues with causing diarrhea, abdominal pain, and nausea, particularly during intake. And as with all of these negatives around cannabinoids, there is a lot more research to be done and specific areas within that research seem to be fairly spotty. Plus, the research on autistic people is specifically a lot sparser than just general research. So that's another issue. Psychological dependence. Yes, you wouldn't think that I would be making a video on CBD and talking about dependence. Now, this is, albeit a little bit of a strange one, but from my own experiences, I found that with regular routine-like use, I was sort of using it as a crutch for like anything to do with my anxiety. It wasn't that CBD was affecting my anxiety negatively, but when I couldn't dose up during the evening, I found that my regular coping mechanisms that I built up were gone. I found myself having panic attacks and meltdowns a lot more easily in situations when I couldn't have it. When I'm used to a medication or a supplement and its effects, I find myself sort of naturally pushing my limits further due to the support that it's giving me. When using CBD, I was pushing my limits of socializing and work further than what I was able to because I knew by the time that I got home after my hard day, all that stress, all those difficulties were just kind of mitigated a little bit by a few puffs on my vaporizer and a sweet snack. CBD, from what I've seen, has mixed reviews on whether it causes tolerance or not due to its particular action on the cannabinoid receptors. But from what I've seen, there isn't much support at all for the risks of addiction with just CBD. But psychological dependence is different. I think the important lesson to take away from my experience with CBD is that it shouldn't replace your existing regulation strategies or be used to take on more and more stressful things, such as more work or more things that tax your social or sensory battery. I mean, you could apply this to many things that can support you, of course. You remove them and your life becomes harder, of course, naturally. But it's worth being aware of this trap and use your newfound support with CBD if you are taking it, alongside learning other healthy things that could help. And lastly, one of the most important things to be aware when it comes to CBD, and also the most impactful thing for me, if you do have mental health conditions, especially if they are long-term and fairly severe, you may have been put on one, two, or three pharmaceuticals to support you. You may still have issues with them and see all the amazing potential positive benefits to CBD. The thing is, CBD has some very real interactions with medications, recreationals, over-the-counters, and of course supplements. CBD can actually double up the side effects of other medications, like drowsiness or fatigue. And it obviously depends on what it's interacting with, but you just have to be very, very aware of this stuff. Like, don't be taking huge doses of CBD before a night out and drinking excessively, or you might end up taking a nap on the pavement or cracking your head on the bar table. CBD can also change and alter the effects of other substances, likely due to the fact CBD is broken down by your liver, like many other compounds, leading to too little or too much of another drug in your body. This is what's called altered concentration. This can lead to 
other drugs stopping working or it can amplify the negative side effects of that particular drug. This can and has impacted my own experience with SSRIs and prescribed anxiolytics, so things that reduce anxiety, but be particularly wary of blood thinners, heart rhythm, seizure and thyroid medications as those things can harbour a very high potential risk when used in conjunction with CBD. Please, please, although it's sold as a supplement, ask your doctor for God's sake. <laughs> you may not be aware of it and it may have some pretty gnarly effects. Bad effects. Dangerous effects. But please do not get me wrong with this video. The amount of potential positives for CBD for autistic people is incredibly encouraging. And if it wasn't for taking medication, I'd imagine I'd still be using it. Make sure to like, subscribe and check out the previous CBD positives video and potentially check out the THC ones too. There's two of them, three in total, now four. Yes, that's how it works. <coughs> <coughs> so excuse me, I'm dying. My new streaming commentary channel is up and running, it's called Inside the Autiverse, and if you want to catch up on the new stream clips that are coming out, you can find the link down in the description. If you love what I do and want to support me in creating more videos in the future, the best way that you can do that is by joining my membership for as little as £1 per month. And remember, I am not a doctor, I am not a medical professional, I am not a psychologist and you shouldn't take this video as encouragement to try anything. Always consult local laws or a medical professional on anything medical related and yeah, Bro, this CBD got me wavy. Oh yeah, it hit. <laughs> that CBD be hitting, bro. <laughs> Where's everyone gone? Oh, hello.